the place. small child, a king. We now have hope. We have the opportunity to live eternally. That's the importance of Christmas. And so I welcome you and I encourage you to let yourself get lost in the music, listen to the words, and may it richly grow your walk with Christ as we celebrate tonight Christmas. Will you please bow your heads with me as we pray. Father, we thank you for being with us. We thank you for each student here. We thank you for the families that have traveled and the safety they've had. Now I pray a special blessing tonight that the Holy Spirit comes down, that the words and the music that are presented by our students and staff will make a large impact on everyone here, and that we recognize and remember as we are in this Christmas season that without you, Christmas would be empty and hopeless. So we thank you again. We ask your blessing. In your name I pray. Amen. Before we get started, we are going to have an annual award. There we go. The Orndorff Endowment Scholarship. The scholarship is given in honor of a student from the Orndorff family every semester to a Bel Canto member that shows very special qualities. In memory of John W. Orndorff, Jr., a 1972 graduate of Blue Mountain Academy and a member of Bel Canto, this endowment was created in his honor by his family. It is the intent that scholarship be awarded every school year once each semester at the winter and spring concerts. The recipient must be a member of Bel Canto, demonstrate leadership, have a positive attitude, and have pride in being a BMA student. The years that John spent as a student at BMA along with his time as a Bel Canto member created a lasting positive experience for him. And we know many Bel Canto members continue to experience the positive effects of Christian music through the special notes of Bel Canto. Following the recommendations of our music director, Flora Rivera, the Blue Mountain Academy Executive Committee and Ag Council has chosen this year's recipient of $500 Orndorff Endowment Scholarship. This semester's recipient is Miguel Couto.
Okay. Stay there. Stay here. Okay, and now you will uh, witness why he won the award. A voice cries in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Lift up 
up your hands, O gates, and make the highway straight. Prepare to celebrate the coming of the Lord. Your waiting soon will end, God's glory will descend. Rise up and welcome in the coming of the Lord, the coming of the Lord. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. The ancient words foretell, God with us he will dwell. Christ our Emmanuel and all will see. Lord. Lift up your hands, O gates, and make the highway straight. Prepare to celebrate the coming of the Lord. Your waiting soon will end, God's glory will descend. Rise up and welcome in the coming of the Lord, the coming of the Lord. Lord, prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. The ancient words foretell, God with us He will dwell. Christ our Emmanuel and all will see the glory of the Lord. O come, O come, prepare the way. O come, prepare the way. Prepare the way. O come. Prepare the way, wait of the Lord, and the night of the Lord here. The blind will see Him clear, the mute will find their voice, the lame will leap for joy. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Prepare the way for the Lord. We gather here to prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. We come to remember when God visited the earth in the form of a child. And we meet to worship the Lord and to celebrate the new life he offers us. We pray that we will experience God's presence in a fresh way. This is the true meaning of Christ's birth. The angel said he would be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. God is always with us, but when we welcome his spirit into our hearts and minds, we experience the comfort and the power of God's presence. Before Christ came into the world, God's people awaited for his arrival for centuries, so now we wait. That God will move among us as we listen to the story of the Christmas miracle. The psalmist said, The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Come, let us be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him.
to Zechariah. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Fear not. Fear not, Zechariah, your prayer has been heard. Fear not, Joseph, to take Mary as your wife. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Zechariah, your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name John. And behold, Mary, you will conceive in your womb, and you shall bring forth a son. And she shall bring forth a son. And you shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And you shall call his name Jesus. Oh, 
of the Christmas story that came flesh and lived among us. It is a great story of love, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. Listen as Luke records Christ's birth, when the Lord of heaven and earth became flesh and lived among us. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, and she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
Fear not, for the Lord is with you. As the child was born, the angels continued to bring their message of comfort to the earth. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem, 
They had seen a star in the east and had come to worship him. Like the Magi, we seek the Lord and remember the words of the psalmist. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land. saw the child, they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. We can join the Magi in their giving as we draw near to the Lord and open the treasures of our hearts. 
Instead of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we bring our gifts of love, adoration, and praise as we bow to worship the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace. <laughs> The offering of the kings of the east helped to cover the needs of Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus in Egypt. By contributing to the, offer, to the offerings tonight, you are helping to create opportunities to musical growth for BMA students. We thank God for his blessings and we pray for the families represented here at this time when the young Christian occupies places of refuge such as our academy. It is our desire that you get to know this Jesus, and we can all ded ded dedicate not only our money, but our lives to him as we fall on our knees. The music for the offertory will be fall on your knees.
When we are in the presence of the Lord, we feel his holy peace and all is well. Because of Christ's birth, all is well between God and us. For through this great gift from heaven, we are reconciled with God and can experience holy peace in our souls and new life in Christ. To celebrate this new life, we come to sing Noel. Some scholars believe that the word Noel began as a shortened form of the phrase, now all is well. In Old England, perhaps people used this as the Christmas greeting, Christ is born, to which would come together the response, Noel. Let's do this together. Christ is born. Noel. Christ is born. Noel. Christ is born. Noel. Beautiful music, right? Do we say amen again? Amen. I was uh, yesterday in my office, and one of the students came to me, and she said, Pastor, I just can't. She was too dramatic. She said, Pastor, Pastor, I just can't. And I was a little concerned. She said, what happened? And she said, I, I just can't do it anymore. And I said, well, you do a lot of stuff. You go to do a sport. You go to the school. You do a lot of things. What is the things that you cannot do it anymore? And she say, I just can't play piano anymore. I play too many times. And my fingers hurt, Pastor. My fingers hurt. And, and well, something is true. They put too, mu too much effort in this beautiful concert. Can we say it amen again? Amen. Uh, but what is the main purpose of this concert? 
It's for us to have a beautiful night. It's for us to have a really beautiful music. Something that Mrs. Flora spoke to them during the practice is for us to imagine the whole situation, the whole scene. The desire of ages invite us to imagine when we are reading the Bible for us to imagine all the scene, all the stories. I'm pretty sure you have been touched by those songs. And we are pretty sure that those songs is not coming from earth, it's coming from the heaven. And we are all know that God is calling us to remind him this beautiful story that Jesus came to earth for us to be saved. So let us pray. And while we are praying, I would like you to think about those moments that Jesus came to earth, teaches how we have to live, but not just that, that he died for you and me, that he resurrected, that he went to heaven and he's coming for the second time. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, tonight as a church, as a believers, we are gathered here to remind when you were born and where you came to earth for us to teach us how to live. But Lord, we have been touched our hearts with this beautiful music. And tonight we just want to say thank you because you give us the most beautiful gift of salvation. Thank you because you are still calling us to be saved. The only thing that we have to do is to answer that call. Help us to answer the call of salvation. Thank you because you are helping us out during this year. And now that we are almost done with this year, help us to remember that we still have a mission with others and with ourselves as well. Thank you for everything, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we let her uh, do her last thing, I think we offer a special thank you to Ms. Flora for all the work she has done uh, to prepare our students for this performance. So thank you. And Mrs. Autumn DeGraw as well, our associate. I also want to extend to you my personal invitation. This is only half of our music program. The other half will be tomorrow at the 11 o'clock service. Eric Ingen will be directing La Sonnette, our bell choir, for the morning service. And that will be the other half of our Christmas program. So I invite you to come here, another wonderful um, concert, and uh, enjoy a worship time with us in the morning. Thank you for coming out, and uh, we hopefully will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed Sabbath.
the end. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.